Hello, welcome to the tutorial about the stern root. Here it will be a very short uh, tutorial for the, the add friend method in the T tree class. This is very similar to the T chain that we discussed previously. The, you, the time when you need to use the add friend is that you, you have two root file and that file may not have the same structure so you cannot use a chain because that the structure or the variable inside the two uh, root file are not equal so you cannot use chain to link it you may need to use the add frame method to, to connect these two files okay so in this uh, demonstration let's think about uh, this scenario. So in the previous uh, example one here, we use the demo one. This guy here. We suppose we have three brothers A, B, C, and we have three variable money A, money B, money C for stored the money. But now we create another uh, tree that store the money for the parents, like your mom and dad. And we try to use uh, the the root. I mean, example one the root and add a friend from the newer uh, root file, then to do some manipulation. So uh, basically, we have three steps. First, we create uh, the example one the root file if not in this. And second, create an another tree file. Then three, the number uh, step three to use the add frame method. So this is a framework of our tutorial today. So let's go in. So first, um, I would like to use uh, global pointer g root here, and to use the process line. Uh, actually, I load in the demo one. That here in, then I use the function inside let's call it example one the function and let's create actually uh, you can just directly use the L demo one let's see here but um, if you want to write in script here it basically is a good practice to use a, a G root um, point global pointer here so uh, in this case, as I write out the example that roots to the file, so let's read in the file here from uh, the disk here. So I create uh, again a T file object, and I read in example one that root. Then I create a T tree pointer. Now this time I call it T brother. Alright, uh, because um, in the um, in this root file is it has the the data structure like a money A for brother A, money B for brother B, and fill it like this. So I call the T brothers for uh, me to memorize. This is a tree for brother. So then I use uh, inside the F. I mean, I mean this T file. Here is a method code get object. So that I can have the T here. T is the, the, the key of the tree inside a file of example one that root. And I assign it to T broader. Okay. okay. Now let's make sure we got it. Alright, so it's not a zero. That means it, it point to something. So if the first step is finished, so we create uh, an example one that roots this tree, and second we create uh, another tree by uh, these two variables. So we, we let's say we have money mom money dad here. So this two integer data type uh, we declare there. Then also we create a tree, let's say uh, t tree 
a pointer that say team parent okay, input to new key three okay now we type in the constructor so we can say that the um, key is key parent and the title is a friend all right so all right that's it let's see so check it all right very good so we did create a pointer that point to the p3 class all right so we have a variable we have a tree now we create a branch that link to this variable here so it's quite similar to previous discussion so is that we use the branch method within the p tree class so the first parameter is the branch name then you link the variable with address here then you type in a list of the leaf for example I want to call uh, money mom and integer inter data type here so type enter so let's just uh, very quickly to check that everything is alright alright so here we are we use print command here we see this tree is called the t parent and the title is a friend this is a key here and two branch one is m m one is m e here and this is the branch name this is a leaf name all right so everything looks fine but we don't have entrance yet we have branch and that branch linked to this variable so let's uh, make up some number and fill it into the tree all right so right now let's print uh, print it again so now we have by entrance and this is a very interesting point here we have more entries than we uh, had in previous one so in a broader case in this tree we just have three but now we have data with five so when you uh, link the true root file by add friend method uh, you only can have three because uh, this uh, the minimum is three for both sides so this two here the following the, the last two will be just uh, gone here alright anyway we fill the data so it's good to write it out so we create a key, uh, key file and we call it F2 then let's say something like example one uh, friends that root like this and you use option called uh, recreate that means write out alright so very good so we use the right method and to write it out alright so this is pretty routine so I just go through very quickly so what we have is now we have uh, example one dot root file and another is example one dot example one friend dot root file here so we have two file now we want to link all right so here comes a new part so we have a t brother this guy here now we want to add some uh, new data from a tree that exists in another file so you know we save to uh, the data we save this tree to the example friend that root this file so in order to add a friend we have to use add friend method so you, when you tap tab you can see some option there so we're going to use the one of this is um, the first is the tree name here so the tree name inside the friend uh, file here uh, because we write in the key is t parent so we just have in t parent all right so let's copy and paste it all right very good so and from which uh, root which file is this file okay so we just copy and paste it uh, there could be something wrong here all right all right 
No? Good. Alright. So, right now, we add the original tree with another tree come from example one frame.root file so let's see what happened here so you can use t brother this is orange one then start view uh, start viewer okay this will be tell you some uh, thing uh, in the memory here with in kind of a uh, for the tree um, set up here. So this is M A M B M C. This is a original brain that's for the money for the brother A, money for the brother B, money for the brother C here. Now you have two extra thing that's from a friend. That's is a T parent tree, and this is a branch M M. This is a money for mom here, and this is money for dad here. So you, when you want to access the tr the data or the brain from another tree, you need to call the the tree first, then dot here. All right. So that means if you want to do something like scan, T brother scan, and let's say we have one leaf called money. Uh, let's say. Uh, uh, where are you? Okay. Uh, oh here. So we have a leaf called the money A there. So we just type in money A. All right. This is for found um, just deletes. So we have three entries here. Now we make another one called T parent. Uh. And that, uh, then the leaf name is money dad or money mom. So let's just use one of them for the second. All right. So you see, we did successful access both tree by add friends. So the data here just three entries. That's fine. Okay, you see, the dad is six uh, six hundred six hundred seven. Hundred here is just exactly here, but there's no data from this final two because we only have three entries in the original T brother tree, so it would be truncate layer. All right, so uh, again, you can also use a draw command uh, to to access the the data in the friends tree like this. So you have done only three entries that not five here. So you have two in six uh six hundred uh, just one in seven hundred. Alright. So this is a very simple and easy uh way to make two different uh roots together, root file together, a tree file together by add a friend here. And this command uh, just a very very short recap here. The first is the name of the tree in a friend, or that means the key of the, the tree. The second is the file name. Alright, so I think I will stop here. Now, thank you for watching.